Hello and welcome to my video today. Just want to say thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do so. Then you'll get notified when I have new videos out. So today I'm just starting with a bunch of collage papers. That is kind of how I usually start my pieces. It's my way in, as they call it, just so I don't think too much or get paralysis by analysis. And I just kind of rip up a few pieces of paper that appeals to me. I usually try to find a similar color palette, even though half the time I cover it up. <laughs> so it kind of gets me inspired to get going. And I just kind of pick what I like. And I think that's a big part of art is not to worry so much about what is in style or what other people like, but to pick what really gets you going and gets you excited. So these are some of the papers I chose for today. A kind of different color scheme for me. And I like to try to do that once in a while to challenge myself because I definitely err on the side of pinks and light blues. So I am putting all these papers down with a fluid satin medium, Liquitex, and I am putting it on a piece of heavy 140 pound mixed media paper. So I'm not really thinking too much about it. I'm just kind of, it's like a jigsaw puzzle, just putting it all down, overlapping, and just getting my creative flow started. Now this is gesso. I did kind of second guess my color choice. <laughs> I didn't love the maroon tone on those papers. So I wanted to figure out a way to get it a little bit more in the background. And a lot of my editing process is to kind of put something down and then see how I like it and maybe remove it a little bit. So this is just kind of playing and putting some water on it. And then what I do is bring in a paper towel and kind of edit my choices a little bit. So this kind of brings the maroon color a little bit to the background, which I like a little better. And then next I'm using Mars Black. And I love these stencils, so I wanted to try to figure out a way to incorporate these today. Stencils can be tricky because when you put them down, you have to really hold it down hard and use a dauber or whatever you use to put the stencil, the paint down on the stencil. You have to make sure it doesn't run. So part of that running that you see is because I had a wet, sponge that I was using. So in the future, I'll use a dry one to start with. That got really runny right there. So I was just trying to kind of create the shapes again. But every little movement and trial is part of the process. I don't get too worried about making a mistake because you can always paint over it. That's what I love about acrylic paints. So that is a rose pink that I'm using. And just kind of getting a different color down, different layer. Not really thinking too much. I like to try to blend the pieces together so it doesn't look like so many different pieces of paper. Adding a few drips. Just kind of enjoying the process, painting around. And there are always awkward phases to each piece of art. And I would say this middle is kind of where I go into the awkward phase. It's not really looking too cohesive, trying to figure out where it's going. So I'm just playing. This is a paper towel roll that I'm just using as a stamp. And that is white gesso. Just kind of making some marks. I 
I like the subtleness of those marks. So next here I have some prints from Deli Paper. You can print on them from your printer at home. I'll show a video of it right up in the corner there. And you can also um, use a jelly plate and make prints with acrylic paints. So I love using deli paper as a layering piece because you can still kind of see the color underneath, but it also gives a little hint of a different pattern and color. So this is another little experiment that was a little bit of a fail here. It was too mushy, it didn't show the actual music notes. So I just wiped it, I wiped it off. I think I used a little too much paint, so I wanted to go a little more sparse. I think that one worked a little better. It's very subtle. And then I went in with my favorite mark making tool, my Posca paint pens. I just can't get enough of these pens. They come in like every color and so easy to use. It's just acrylic paint in a pen. So a lot of times when I'm working and I find I'm getting into a space where I'm not sure what to do next, I just start making some marks with my pens. Here I am trying to revive this stamp. I was determined to make this stamp work today. The black definitely made a better, a better print. So the key is not to use a lot of paint on the stamps. Now that is a stamp in the upper left corner that I printed on my printer on jelly paper just kind of a mixed media piece I found and I'm just trying to be careful not to touch the paper on top too much because I didn't add a fixative to it so I knew it would run from the ink and there's a little feather I also printed on the same page just kind of a focal point for the whole piece and again just lightly tapping on it so I don't run the ink on top because it is printer ink, just inkjet print. So you have to be careful it doesn't get all gooey and messy. And then I kind of went in on the stamp before it was dry. And then I just added a little more gesso on top so it didn't become a big black mess. A little gesso on top of that, kind of put it in the background a little. This piece this week is a little bit more of a subtle, subtle vibe. And that is my pen I use to kind of create a border. It's another fantastic pen, a Micron. And that is in a dark gray. It's not black. I like the dark gray because it's not quite as obvious as black. And then I'm just adding little dots to kind of create some interest in the top corner of that piece. I didn't want to make a lot of big marks because I like the colors and I just liked the gentleness of how it looked. Just a few little hearts. And then this little piece of deli paper I found, it was very similar to the scallops in the upper right corner. So I figured that would kind of blend it all in. It kind of feels like it belongs there. And then one of the last things I do is the sentiment. And the word elevate just popped into my mind. So I figured that would be a good, a good one for this. Just some last touches using the paint pen to make some 
dots to kind of bring it all together. And a lot of times I find when I do this, you figure out like, when do you stop? When do you stop making all these marks? I always take a step back or walk away and come back and say, is it done? Do I like it? If I saw it just randomly, would I be like, ooh. So I did that with the dots and then I realized I didn't really like them. So just going over them with some lines and I like that much better. It's always an editing process. The key is just to have fun with it and enjoy yourself as you are creating. So I hope you enjoyed following along today. If you are interested in some more videos, there is a whole playlist of my demos right here that you can tap on and enjoy. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.